is uh, a DeFi project that we're uh, building on the Moon River and Moonbeam ecosystem. Um, the primary value proposition of Vulture Finance is that it's the first uh, Moonbeam native stable swap DEX. Um, so uh, what we do differently than uh, everyone else uh, is basically we've, we've built a protocol that's way more capital efficient and composable than most stable swap DEXs out there. Um, and we think that building native from Moonbeam is, is important because there's uh, a missing primitive there. So we th we've identified three broad problems here uh, in the DeFi ecosystem uh, and particularly on Moonbeam. Um, as I've said, there's, there's, a, there's a missing primitive with stable swaps. Uh, we also think that traditionally stable swaps and DeFi protocols tend to have extremely complicated user experience and interfaces. Uh, we'd prefer to gamify that and also make the process of engaging with the DeFi protocol more rewarding and entertaining for retail users, uh, which we think is the best way to make sure um, DeFi protocols find mass adoption. Uh, we also think that through the traditional curve model, we've arrived at uh, an eventuality where pegged assets uh, and stable assets become fragmented across a bunch of pools. For example, there's several millions of dollars uh, of Bitcoin just sitting idle on curve, earning zero yield. Uh, we want to solve this problem, and we think that Vulture Finance is a good way of dealing with that. So these are the solutions that we have for the problems that we've just presented. Uh, first, uh, obviously, we're built for Moonbeam. Uh, we think that this is important because, one, it means that the community gets, it means that the Moonbeam community gets to get in at the ground level for all, all of these projects, as opposed to, let's say, like Curve launching on Moonbeam. Um, the community would likely be more invested in us, uh, and that's something that we want to work with. We want to be a community first and a community driven project. Um, also Vulture Finance, uh, the design itself makes it more interoperable uh, than Curve. Um, and this is fundamentally due to the differences between how Vulture Finance and Curve operates. So with Curve, you have uh, you know asset pair pools, right? So if you'd want to swap between um, USDT and USDC, you'd have to go into a pool um, where both of these assets are deposited uh, and, and trade between them. Uh, the difference between that and Vulture Finance is that Vulture Finance has single asset pools. So you don't, as, as an LP, you don't need to deposit two assets at once uh, while trading. You don't need to look for a specific pool that has uh, deep enough liquidity that your slippage is going to be low. Uh, you just need to deposit, you just need to go uh, to the protocol and you can swap between and you can swap between your uh, tokens, whichever ones are supported on the platform. This makes it more interoperable because we have uh, the benefit of being able to list, uh, being able to list the long tail of assets, um, because we don't need you need way less liquidity to bootstrap uh, onto the eco, onto the protocol, um, and you're also able to coordinate the risk and silo it accordingly way better than Curve um, because of their bonding curve mechanisms and how ours is way more efficient. This also translates into improved capital efficiency because now you're not locking up two sets of different assets. You're just locking up whatever assets you want and earning specific yields uh, on them. Um, yeah, so very quickly, this is a high level overview of how the protocol works. Um, LPs would provide liquidity uh, in the stable coins that we support onto the protocol, uh, earning Vulture Finance tokens as rewards. Um, and um, these tokens can in turn be staked onto the platform for a vote escrowed uh, VFI token, which boosts uh, the rewards that you generate on your stablecoin deposits. So um, now I'll give you guys a quick demo of uh, of the app itself. Now this is live on Moon River. Uh, you guys can go over to this link and check it out. So uh, my wallet is connected right now. I'm just going to. Uh, so what we our, our protocol uses this thing called a coverage ratio coverage ratio is the ratio of assets to liabilities of a pool uh, and it basically determines the amount of slippage that you generate on each trade a slippage can either be positive or negative and if you're transferring now in in this case particularly uh, usdt is an undercovered pool as its coverage ratio is below 100% uh, and usdc is overcovered this means that if i'm if i'm swapping from usdc to usdt uh, i'd likely receive um, I'd likely receive a payment for making that trade, which is uh, the slippage. Uh, now, like since the since the difference between them and like the liquidity is is low, it's not um, it's not likely to do much because um, you know like we're moving five dollars from USDC to USDT. But once the protocol matures, um, 
this would be a trade that you would receive uh, that you would receive slippage for. Um, so, uh, one second. Let me just. Right now, um, right, um, yeah, so this is the screen that you'd see. Um, when you swap, uh, shows up for confirmation on your on your wallet. Um, and we're trying to design this user experience to be um, as simple, but also thorough as possible. We want to make sure that users aren't overwhelmed with information, but are also not being, uh, but are also not having the DeFi experience dumbed down for them. Um, we think that there's a certain value in having simplified user experiences that, um, that are also at the same time thorough. Um, so now we'll, I'll just quickly show you the pool functionality uh, since we've swapped to USDT. Uh, we can deposit um, we can deposit uh, USDT into the pool. Now, as you can see, like um, basically the this is this is like the base functionality of the protocol. We want to have the product live uh, by the end of this month. Uh, eventually, you'd be able to, you'd be able to earn APRs from your deposits um, in these pools. Uh, you'd be able to stake uh, your LP tokens that allow you to start earning VFI rewards. Uh, those you can claim on, the, on this screen. Uh, and eventually you take these rewards uh, and then you go to this, uh, this sub page here and then you get to stake them for your VE VFI tokens. Um, so now VE VFI tokens will basically let you um, boost the amount of yield you generate. Um, the amount of yield you generate on your stable coins. Now that's um, that's basically um, vulture finance and how it works. Um, this is like a broad overview of our roadmap. We're currently almost live on Moonriver, after which we're going to we're going to look to launch on Moonbeam soon after. Um, and yeah, hopefully like build the product out, integrate with a bunch of other DeFi projects, and eventually uh, give control over to the to the community. Um, this is our team. Uh, I'm the CEO. My name is Abhijit. I've been in crypto for a little over a year now. I've had extensive experience working with a bunch of DeFi protocols and venture funds. Uh, Nikhil, my CTO, is you might know him from Poker Assembly. Uh, he's helped build Poker Assembly, which is um, the default governance platform for all Polka, Dot, and Kusama um, ecosystem projects. He's had extensive developmental experience uh, in the crypto ecosystem, uh, and he handles all of the tech um, at Vulture Finance. Um, 